Protesters interrupted the mayor today during an announcement about a new skyscraper in Midtown. CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports on the plans for the towering building and the battle over housing. That's how people are going to solve the problems in the city, by yelling. Several protesters stormed the stage during a speech by Mayor Eric Adams. He had just announced progress on a new 62-story office tower at 350 Park Avenue. At this power breakfast event held by the Association for a Better New York. You must, we, we must move, we must move to make it happen, show, show them off the stage. The demonstrators with the group Planet Over Profits, accusing the mayor of caring more about the rich than working class New Yorkers. The mayor compared building the new office tower to the building of the Empire State Building generations ago. It comes as lawmakers in Albany hammer out plans to convert office space into residential housing and loosen what is known as the 12 far cap requiring buildings be no more than 12 times the size of their lots. New York State Senator Brad Hoyleman Siegel says details of housing reforms in the budget are still being worked on. Nobody in the Senate wants to lift the FAR cap and not protect our existing historic districts. Affordable housing, local control. Andrew Berman is executive director of the Greenwich Village Society for Historic Preservation. If we do change the FAR cap, we have said it should be for buildings that are exclusively or predominantly affordable, and it should be in areas that already allow very large buildings in them. You need to protect rent stabilized buildings. Our historic rent reforms prevent the demolition of rent-stabilized housing. The state senator also said market rate tenants could get new protections as well, allowing some to challenge rent hikes. Dave Carlin, CBS2 News. And four people were arrested for disrupting that event. They'll be charged with criminal trespass and disorderly conduct. Mayor Adams later downplayed any potential threat to his personal safety and said he does not consider it a security breach.